Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm taking a look at the most recent update to On One Photo Raw 2022. It's their mid year update, version 2022.5. Free update if you already own On One Photo Raw 2022. And if not, you can get it at the link down below. I'm going to cover at a high level the updates, but they're pretty significant. This is a great update. I'm very happy with it. I want to walk through what some of these features are, which includes integration of the resize AI capability, updates and improvements to SkySwap AI, no noise AI has been improved as well. Are you picking up a theme here? Improvements and, and upgrades and things like that. And also lens match capability. Let's walk through these uh, quickly and at a high level. The first thing is Resize AI, which I covered in a bit of depth in that video. If you want to dive into it, it's now integrated fully into Photo Raw. So if you're in the Develop tab, but if you look at the before, that's what the photo is like. And there it is after. You can see that lens correction coming into play. But let's say I want to resize this photo. Resize AI is now fully integrated. So you just come down here uh, on the right hand corner, click on Resize, and that will open up the Resize AI menu. You can see here, this is a raw photo, 6,000 by 4,000 pixels, 24 megapixel Sony full frame camera. Um, I can adjust by dimensions. If you look at the dimensions, it's currently 15 by 10 inches. But typically when I enlarge, I go by percentage. So let's say I wanna go 3X. So let's say I wanna go to 300. So if I input that, you can see my pixel dimensions have increased from 18,000 to 12,000. And if I go back to these dimensions, it's gone to 45 by 30. So a significant increase in size. But let's take a look at the photo. If you zoom in, this is just a common cityscape kind of shot. And usually it takes a second for it to render through. But as you can see, I mean, it looks quite nice. And obviously it's quite a bit larger than it was before. Keep in mind, they also have integrated sharpening. So you can open the sharpening menu and you will see this come through as I click on that. That photo is crisping up really nicely. Now, if it's too much for you, of course, you can make adjustments here. There's different types of sharpening, high pass, progressive, unsharp mask. But also one of the nice things is with the integrated sharpening, you have all these other options here. So you can kind of scroll through, find what fits for you and adjust to your taste. So let's say I just want to leave it at that and I go back here to photo size. I can zoom back out, but I've now got an 18,000 by 12,000 pixel photo, which is basically 45 by 30 inches. Let's say I'm happy with that. I can just move on to the print or export menu for my next step. So key thing is Resize AI fully integrated, lots of power, lots of capability for enlarging your images. Now let's take a look at SkySwap AI. Okay, SkySwap AI has been enhanced and they're saying that it's better around small things like tree branches, antennas, things like that. So I thought I would test it on an image it looks like this. This is a difficult, difficult sky replacement. I don't care what product you use for it. I'm going to go ahead and just pick their sunset and stick it on here. And we'll just go take a look at the mask. And you can see it goes in automatically and quickly and also really accurately. Now it's not perfect. If I zoom in, you can see there's a little bit up here where it's kind of struggled to get some of these finer details. But if you look in here, I mean, that's pretty significant around all these tiny little fine branches. And don't forget, of course, you can always go in and view the mask. So if you look at this mask, I mean, white reveals, black conceals. You can see all the way around these little things. It's done a good job. Even down here, some of these fine edges around the brushes and this line of hedge in the background. But if you just zoom around, honestly, I think it's done a fine job. And if you look back at the results, you know, again, not perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. But I mean, this is this is impressive, to be honest. And that's one click. Now keep in mind, you've got all these amazing masking tools where you can come in and refine levels and things like that. So you can refine it further, but this is an incredibly difficult image, I think, to get a good mask on. And I think it's done a really admirable job. So that's SkySwap AI updated with better masking results for complex situations or subjects like this one. Again, I think fine job here. And I think overall that looks pretty darn good considering the complexity of the subject. Okay, no noise AI, which you may know as a frankly world-class noise reduction product has previously been integrated into on one photo raw, but in this update, they've now improved results on non raw photos. So I've got an image here that is a JPEG, as you can see up here, and it was shot low light handheld ISO 1000 F 1.8. 
I think what I would like to do here is just go in, take a look at some of the noise and see what we can do to reduce it. So let's zoom in a little bit and you can see there's some noise in this image. I'm gonna go back to fit. Let me go to no noise AI. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. You can see that it renders the no noise AI and you get this handy little progress bar. And then we're gonna zoom in and take a closer look at the results. So let's do that. I'm gonna get closer to her face and I'm gonna zoom in even further. And you can see, I mean, that's a massive amount of noise reduction without a significant loss of detail where I want it. Now those are default settings. You can go in of course and customize that to your liking. But I mean, if you just look at the noise reduction on this JPEG, I think that looks fantastic. Certainly a lot better than it did before I applied this. Lots of customization, just like in the resize menu, you've got various sliders for customization. Highly recommend that you experiment, see what works best for you. But just at first blush, I think this is a much improved photo in terms of noise reduction. It is a JPEG and that's what they're talking about here. The update to no noise AI has improved results on non raw photos. I think it looks great. Okay, and the last thing that they're talking about is new lens match capability as well as enhancements to overall lens correction. So let's just click into here. As you probably know, if you use on one, it'll automatically detect your lenses. It does a great job with that. But what they've done is they've added over 200 new lenses, including a lot of third party options from Tamron, Sigma, companies like that. So I shot this with a Sony 20 millimeter, as you can see here, it picks that up automatically. But if for some reason I wanted to change the default for this, I could come in and do that. You can see there's Samsung, Sam Yang, Sigma, Tamron's down here, lots of various options that are now included. Like I said, about 200 new ones. And while lens correction may not be something that you think about, it's not like a whiz bang kind of feature. It's super useful. It can help you remove distortion on your raw files automatically, which is gonna save you time in editing because you won't have to go fix that distortion yourself. It's also got new built-in lens profile capability that if it doesn't recognize the lens or there's no profile for it, it will go and build that for you on the fly. Also, if there's an unrecognized lens on a raw file, you can go in and assign a lens profile to that lens. So anytime that lens is recognized by on one, it can apply that assigned profile to it. Again, time saver, very useful. And those automatic corrections, like I said, can save you a lot of time. So those are the major updates in 2022.5. Resize AI is fully integrated. SkySwap AI has been improved. No noise AI has been improved on non-raw photos and lens match technology as well as additional lens options built into their lens correction module. On one continues to be a really well thought out, fully capable kind of end to end solution all the way from kind of the beginning of your process where you would do no noise, all your editing and capability, which would include the lens match and lens correction, sky swap if you wanted to. And then at the very end where you might resize and export. And of course they've got a very capable print module. So end to end, it's a really complete product just continues to get enhanced and improved. And I love it, that's why I keep using it. Hope this gives you an idea of what's available in 2022.5. I'll be back with more videos about On One soon. Thanks for watching my friends. I appreciate it. you guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon and adios.